Hey, it's Bernie Dog here. I'm going to look at what vapor detonation or surging is another name for it looks like in a kerosene stove. Here I have this Primus 535 stove I'm working on. You hear that? Yeah, it's coming out of the right burner. And as that burner finishes up its preheat, it's actually having kerosene vapor shooting back into the tank as it uh, bursts into a cloud of vapor. Now watch what it does when we get it burning here. You can see that the flame is pulsing. Now what's causing that is the liquid kerosene is vaporizing explosively inside the burner and is overcoming the pressure inside the tank to flow back into the tank as a cloud of vapor. Once it's there, it dissipates and then cold fuel comes backing up that fuel line and into the burner and quenches the heating we just did for preheat. Watch what happens. You can see that the flame is starting to turn yellow. That's because there's liquid kerosene. The burner has been cooled off by the liquid kerosene that's been pulsing back and forth in the fuel line and causing the burner to cool off. With each explosive detonation of the kerosene liquid fuel into kerosene vapor and then pushing that vapor back down the fuel line and then bringing that cold kerosene fuel back to the burner, we're losing heat to the burner and gradually that burner will no longer be able to be hot enough to turn the kerosene into vapor. No matter how much we turn it down or turn off the other burner, nothing will happen here because it's a cycle that's running out of control. So while the burner is being quenched by the cold fuel that's caused by the surging of the kerosene vapor in the fuel line, the tank behind the stove is also quickly getting pretty hot because all that heat that we were having as flame at the burner is traveling back down and into the tank. Now usually we see this on volatile uh, fueled stoves like alcohol stoves. For some reason this one's doing it with kerosene. I've dismantled it here. You can see I've, I've taken it out of the case. I've taken the, the fuel, or excuse me, the pump tube off and dumped out all the fuel. I'm going to remove the burners and show you how you can do an easy fix to solve the surging or vapor detonation in these sorts of stoves. Okay, let's take a look at how these burners work on this particular stove. With this kind of a stove, the burners are not sealed by a burner gasket, but they're sealed by an aluminum cone which fits into the throat, the feed area, of the burner. And the other part of the, the feed tube there, you see there's a cone-shaped uh, structure there. That fits into the other end of the aluminum cone. Because that hole's so small in the feed line, there's no way to get a, uh, any kind of surging restrictor in there. So we're going to put the surging restrictor above, or in this case below, where you see that aluminum cone. First thing to do is to take the aluminum cone out. There's that cone right there, and you can see how it fits into the base of the burner, and it will fit onto the tapered end of the fuel line. So the restrictor, I'm going to make it out of some fine brass mesh. And I'm just eyeballing the, the width of it here to get a piece that will fit in behind the cone inside that throat of the burner and still be able to be wound into a nice tight little cylinder, which you see me doing right here. Once I have the cylinder uh, rolled up, I'll stick it in there above that brass cone. I'm just making sure I got the right size here before I trim it. And once I have a nice roll, I go ahead and smoosh that into the open throat of the burner. I'm just using <laughs> what I had at hand here. Probably not the best tool. But squishing it in there so that it clears the top end of the aluminum cone and will fit 
without restricting any kind of fitment uh, for the seal that I need to do. And put it all back together, refuel it, preheat it, fired it up, and no longer any problems with surging. So the brass mesh acts as a restrictor to keep the stove from surging any further. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please link, like, and subscribe.